Welcome back to Reimagine 2020. I'm Yona Hockhauser, and this is everything you need to know about the cryptosphere in 90 seconds or less for November 20th, powered by Multi.io. Jay Clayton, the chairman of the SEC, told CNBC in an interview his stance on Bitcoin, saying it was not a security, but rather a payment mechanism and store of value. Well, welcome to the party, Jay. Where the hell were you this whole time? He also addressed the ICO boom, saying when people use crypto assets as securities to raise capital for venture, the SEC regulates that. And what was happening in the US craze was people were using ICO and essentially making public offerings of securities without registering them with the SEC. When the hell did Jay Clayton become so rational when it came to crypto? It's a shame because now he announced he's going to be stepping down at the end of the year. Let's hope his replacement ends up being more pro crypto. In the latest reminder that Bitcoin ain't going to be getting much cheaper going forwards, a new report by Chain Analysis found that an estimated 3.7 million Bitcoin are lost forever due to lost keys, Bitcoin set to the wrong addresses, and other reasons. That's $66 billion at current value. That's the underrated part of Bitcoin in my eyes. We all know supply is limited, but we don't often think about how supply is literally dwindling every single day due to lost Bitcoin. And the more mom and pop FOMO buying that happens, the more likely it is that more Bitcoin will be lost. Honey, did you see that piece of paper on the kitchen table with the private key? As always, once prices go up, so do the scams. A fake Uniswap app has popped up on the Google Play Store and has already claimed a bunch of victims by asking them for their private keys and taking the crypto. Victims reportedly were tricked due to the over 100 fake positive reviews the app had. Like I always say, think before you click that link. For Reimagine 2020, I'm Yona Hotcast, so that was everything you need to know in 90 seconds. Make sure to check back here for all the latest blockchain news, interviews, and more. Peace.